Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. Today we got another one from Eric Stevens and uh, I gotta say, this is fantastic. I have reviewed several moving whole effects over the course of my career. And I gotta say, this is the best. It really is, this is awesome. If you like that plot of the punching the hole and then sliding it, sliding it, sliding it, heel, I can't imagine a better trick than this one. Eric has covered every base. He's turned over every stone. He's done all the work for you. I can't wait to tell you how cool this trick is. First off, let's cover, is it what I thought? No, it's not what I thought because normally, things like this are done with elastic or some sort of breakable component. And this is sturdy. This is super sturdy and I think if you take care of it, it would last you forever. But it's also affordable that if anything did happen to it, for 25 bucks, you're not gonna mind replacing it. You're, you're not. In fact, you can buy this for $25 in red or blue in bicycle and then also in tally-ho. So, you might just want to pick up a couple extras just to have uh, some different cards. They're all Queen of Diamonds, so you can say, is it well made? They're all Queen of Diamonds, they are well made, um, but uh, incredible, right? Incredible. So not what I thought and well made. And I normally would never ever do this in Magic Review, but I'll show you the gimmick. This is the gimmick. And this is the coolest thing about the gimmick. I can show you the back and I can show you the front. <laughs> I can show you the front and the back, which means it's not a double-sided card. Most of these tricks are double-sided cards and you have to lay it back down on the deck, do a switch, do a double rollover or something like that. You don't have to do it with this. It's so cool. All right, so what's the overall quality and production value of the video? He's gonna have two different files for you. The first one is a performance file where he just uh, is sitting in his office chair and he walks through the trick for you. And then the second file is the tutorial and it's about 35 minutes. In the tutorial, he's gonna introduce the effect and then um, show you the gimmick and then show you the inner workings of it and exactly how it works. And then he's gonna offer you a couple of different routines. And for those, he's gonna do over the shoulder shots. He's gonna give you everything you need. There is some looping, repeating music in the background. I probably could have done without it, but I mean, it's, it's, it's okay. He's got a basic handling where he just does, you know, what he does for the camera where you show a hole, move it, hole, restores, move it, hole, restores, remove it, restored. The second effect he has is one called aim here. He does that with a second card. It has a target on it, it says aim here. You know, the spectator kind of like throws the hole at the cards, right? And there's a, a beautiful play where the card that they were holding ends up having a hole in it as well, alongside the Queen of Diamonds. And then the third trick is um, his take on a Jay Sankey trick called In a Flash. Um, his is called Straight Through, where you do uh, a card selected and signed and lost back into the deck. It goes into the tuck box. Then you bring out the peephole gimmick. You do the peephole effect. You pull the hole off the card and you throw it at the deck. You then open the deck back up and show that the hole has gone through all the top layer of cards until it stops on their card, pull it out, show the signature, ta-da. So he's got some notes at the end of that for care and handling. And uh, that's it. So pocket space is just a single card. That's all you're gonna get. Inside a little plastic bag, you'll get the single card and the tutorial. Angles wise, everything is facing you. So you obviously can't have a 360 surround, but it's gonna feel like it because you'll be able to wave your hand in front and back of the card and show that they can see through every single hole. And in some cases, you'll even be able to turn the card around and show the face and the back during the whole slash restoration process, which is also unique. Um, usually you can't do that. Usually you can't show the other side because it's a double backer, but with this one you can, so it's so cool. Slice and difficulty level, the gimmick does all the work for you. Um, handling, I think, is easy, but you should still practice in a mirror so that your handling looks natural. You want it to look like you're just gliding your hand across the card. You don't want it to look like I am now activating and deactivating a gimmick over and over again. I think you could have telltale signs within your hand movements that could give things away, 
but the card is built in such a way that it can make all those movements subtle. And certainly, as you break your card in, it'll become more responsive to your, your hands anyway. So uh, that's good. Positives, I already said the positive at the very beginning of this. This is the best moving hole gimmick I've ever seen, hands down. If I were to take a uh, card with me anywhere to do one trick, to do uh, a moving hole effect, this, is, this would be the one I grab every single time. Easy, so, so cool. Um, negatives, I, oh, man, I don't know. I don't know what the negatives could be. I mean, I guess the negatives could be when you have a handmade precision gimmick like this, there's always the possibility that it's fragile, it's a little fragile, right? And so, yes, I mean, it's only made of card. So any number of things could happen to it that could damage it. So you just, just be careful with it. That's all, just be careful with it. And just use common sense. But I think the price point is so low that you wouldn't mind buying it again. In fact, I, I can't actually believe the price point is $25. That's ridiculous. Eric is, what's he doing? Is he losing money on this? I mean, he's, these are handmade items. Eric, you're, Eric, you should be selling these for a lot more. I don't, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know how you're making money because this is 25 bucks. You guys should buy all of these and just buy Eric out what you should do. You should just go buy, go to his website, okay? Buy him out, check out some of his other tricks, check out some of my other reviews for Eric, and uh, go over there and patronize his channel. That'd be awesome. So ericstevensmagic.com. Follow him on Instagram as well. He's a really fun follow out on the social medias. That's everything I can say about people. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey, do you want some more information about the t-shirt I was wearing in today's video? Sure. From my homepage, if you look up at the top, you'll see one of the tabs says store. If you click that, that'll take you to my Teespring merchandise. There, you'll see that I have a variety of different designs. Uh, there's more than one, so it's not just the shirt I was wearing today. And they're also at a large variety of price points, so there's something for everybody. Plus, if you click on a design that you like or that you're interested in, you'll also notice that you can select that shirt in different colors. So you're not locked into the color uh, that you see in the graphic. And that means, of course, you can buy the same design in several colors. Now, I don't ask that you buy a shirt. You don't have to. That is not uh, how I ask that you support me. But if you do buy a shirt, I want to thank you so much for supporting my channel, for believing in me. You guys are awesome. Uh, my fans are great. And I love it when you guys send pictures or you tag me on Instagram and you say, I bought a Magic Orthodoxy shirt. Uh, you, you have no idea how, how great that makes me feel and just uh, what, what a lift that is in my day. You guys are awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye.